everybody. Guess what? We have a surprise. <laughs> Nikki's like, oh my God. <laughs> I love you, Nikki. I didn't want to tell you that time. <laughs> You're one of the speakers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So welcome, everybody. And I'm so excited to have you with us tonight. We're doing things a little differently. I'm in a home office. Um, this is my daughter-in-law's office. She's an interior designer. So you don't even get to see the pretty side. Okay. Because <laughs> that side's the pretty side. Um, but it is uh, so much fun to be here with my grandchildren in Atlanta. And I'm working from Atlanta, so don't think I'm not working. We're getting lots done while we're here in Atlanta, uh, both uh, family and work. My kids all work. They expect they expect me to work. <laughs> all right. All right. And so um, we are live on Facebook. Hello to all our champions. Um, and welcome tonight. This is our birthday party. Yay. All right. And so we are going to party tonight and teach you how to party on your Facebook parties and on your uh, home parties as well. And so we've got a full lineup of fun for you tonight. Um, and you're going to leave here thinking, oh my word, I how could I learn so much in one night? So many great ideas and so much fun going on. All right. But before we even get started, we're going to start giving away some stuff because guess what? We had several of you um, order your samples. And if you ordered your samples, I told you you could win during rally. All right. And so um, who wants to tell me what they can win? Uh, what is, come on, we're going to play tonight, just like we played last week. <laughs> Jeopardy, what is? So put it in the chat. Um, if you know what they can win, if they ordered their samples uh, during the 48 hour ch ch uh, challenge. So put it in the chat. Let me see if I can find my chat so I can see who's who's right. Or Jenny, you read the chat. See who's the first one to come up with what? it. Oh. What? Joni says, what is logo? What is logo? It's why, Joni? For 500 points that gets you nowhere. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Joni. You were the right answer. That was the right answer. And so um, I need, um, okay, there we go. Um, I need to be able to share my screens. And so we are going to start our first race right now. And so uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Are you ready for a race? All right. Let's see who's going to be our first winner of logo. And remember, you get to pick your logo. So was it like t-shirt, a tablecloth or a bag or there was several things on the list. I don't remember exactly what we put there, but let's go for it and uh, find out our first winner and start our race. And ready, start. Who's oh, so, oh, Fred Jordan, you're ahead. You're in the lead. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He is in the lead. He is on his way to winning. Oh, oh, Pam Kelly. <laughs> it's not moving. It's not moving for us. For us. Our first winner, and we're going to take smoke right now. Let's do that. Before we do that, we're going to shuffle. All right. And so, we want to shuffle it up. Hey, Pam, if you can hear us, we it's not moving for us. Like we didn't see the race. What? We didn't see the race. You didn't see the race? No. <laughs> We, oh my goodness. We, oh like we, my goodness. we can see it all waiting to race, but it didn't like when you had started. You didn't for see the race at all? Nobody could uh -uh. move. Could you hear it? Had to. We heard the music, but that was it. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you for telling me. Okay, let's give this a shot again. Can you see it now? We can see them getting ready. Okay, and let's see, are you seeing it? Yes, yes we're seeing it, Miss. Oh, yeah. good. All right, this is our second race. Let's see who our winner is here. 
Ooh. All right, and we have, oh, Melanie right now, you're coming ahead. Oh, Ellen, ooh, 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 oh. Rebecca Rager, oh my goodness, congratulations, Rebecca. Right, Rager, you are the winner of the second race, all right? So how fun is that, guys? Okay, we're gonna come back to this, and so that will be fun to come back to, and I think we have a double race going on right now. So let's get out of this. All right, that was so fun. Our next race is a car race. So we're gonna have five races tonight and that was so fun. All right, so doing a real quick screen share here and uh, do our recognition really fast. Now we don't do all recognition, but tonight is about Brownie. Here we go. Brownie Weiss was a really, really special lady. And um, you know, I am lucky enough to know people that knew Brownie. And so they would tell me stories about Brownie because I've been here for 40 years. And so, um, it was really quite interesting when they would talk about Brownie and their eyes would light up and they would just talk about what a great lady she was and how um, how very, very um, genuine she was and how she was um, capturized people. And just she was just absolutely a um, extremely wise businesswoman, uh, but she had charisma like none other. And um, people just absolutely... I uh, loved watching her um, being part of the team and being part of something she was part of. And so I want to tell you tonight how proud I am to be part of a company that had such a huge, huge part of what we did for, um, for uh, women in America and today. I mean, seriously, it's hard to believe and hard to remember, but um, it's hard to imagine living in that world in the first place because women, she was told um, when she started working um, and selling, she was sell selling Stanley products. She was a, a, a secretary before she did that, but she needed more money. She was a single mom. So she started selling Stanley brushes and she did extremely well and so well that she was, um, you know, obviously, um, a stood a stand out in the crowd. So she was very important to Stanley Brushes doing very well, but she was told that no woman would ever be a manager or a leader in the company. Well, can you even imagine being told that? You'd be like, what? <laughs> the hair on the back of my neck stands up right now just thinking of that. And so thinking of that, she was so frustrated with Stanley Brushes that she quit selling their product and started. And at the same time, she had already started selling Tupperware um, door to door, like she was selling the Stanley brushes. She had started selling a, the few products that Tupperware had. And that's when she um, just started selling completely Stanley uh, Tupperware only and really concentrated on her Tupperware products, primarily hundred percent. And, um, and time would tell that um, she got the attention of Tupperware. Well, Tupperware didn't have that attitude at that time. And they, brought her on board because she did so well and she recruited like crazy and she lived at Detroit at the time. She ended up moving down to um, Florida and um, she just did extremely well for the company. And, and she is the one that really created the Tupperware home party for us. And so she had started doing home parties with uh, Fuller Brushes and um, that was just a, a, a slight part of her uh, growth there, but a huge growth in Tupperware home parties. She was a very wise woman who knew where to store her brownies. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And you'll never forget her name. You'll always win that, that, those points in Trivia Pursuit because it actually is a question. Um, it was so funny because I, my husband always wins at Trivia Pursuit. You, I'm telling you, Jimmy should go on Jeopardy. He should go on the game shows. He is so smart. I tell him he always knows a whole lot of useless knowledge because I'm like, why do you know that? Why do you need to know that? Because he knows so many funny, weird things. And so I'm like, you know, I'm like, have too many windows open in my brain. I think of my brain as a computer screen and I'm like, shoot, delete, 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 because I don't need to know it. I'm not going to know it. <laughs> but I will tell you that that is a true question in terms of your pursuit. So learn it. Brownie wise, wise women knew where to store her brownies. Um, and the very first Tupperware lady. And she was actually the first woman on a um, news magazine. And so first woman on the cover of a news magazine. Uh, she was on in lots of magazines as she grew her business and as she should have been. But the very first woman on the cover of Business Weekly. And I'll tell you how you can remember the magazine. 
because Business Weekly, Brownie Wise, get it? So that's how I remember the magazine. See, this is how I got through high school with good grades because I memorized everything. <laughs> All right. So let me just tell you, tonight we're going to help you understand the love of Brownie Wise. We're going to help you um, understand uh, some party games that you can play at parties, some party games you can play virtually. And we're going to make you a cake. And we have our surprise on. Where's Dora? Dora, we want to talk to you. So where's our Dora? I'm here. I'm here. Hey, Dora. Yeah, thank you, Dora, so much for being on with us tonight. We are thrilled to have you. And um, honestly, I think that there's going to be a whole lot of surprise people here tonight when they get to hear you talk a little bit. Uh, Dora is going to be our magic magician and teaching us the magic of Tupperware, all right, and how you can make magic happen in your Tupperware business. So what you need to do right now is if you see your friends that are not on, you need to text them and say, oh my word, get on, Dora's on tonight. You got to get on right now. All right. So get on the phone, get your phone out, start texting as we go over to our first speaker, which is Loretta. And she's going to tell us how to do parties at the in-home party. All right. And so we're going to stop the share and turn it over to Loretta. All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the birthday party. It's Tupperware's birthday. And um, if you don't have, if you haven't yet, you need to have an in-home birthday party, a Tupperware in-home birthday party. I'm going to dare, dare you. There's lots of time before the end of May. If you don't have one, you can do one in your own home because you got to play birthday games. And I mean, fun, virtual games are fun, but in-person birthday games are even funner, okay? So I'm just going to share a couple little games. Don't do them all. I'm just going to give you lots of ideas you can do at an in-home birthday party, whether you're hosting it yourself, uh, a mystery host or whatever. Um, these are some fun games, okay? So first of all, you got to have popcorn, <laughs> okay? So really quick tonight, besides uh, this is my dinner, <laughs> um, I took some uh, a chef series pan, I put some oil in there, and I put some kernels in there, and I popped it really quick, and I used my impression bowl. You can do that at a birthday party, okay? So you can have your popcorn treats, and then you can give everyone a fun straw instead of like the party horn blowers or whatever. You give everybody a straw and this is so funny and everybody starts whistling and stuff and we say oh my goodness I love to hear the whistle because when I hear the whistle that means you want a Tupperware party just like Dora <laughs> and they're like oh they all stop whistling <laughs> it's pretty funny uh, but that's just a really fun cute idea and um, if you blow the whistle tonight I'm gonna run you over a cute little party pack and you know I'm gonna have my my party gift bags already and I'll run them over a bag okay and stuff so that's a fun way to have a birthday party. And then there's some fun little games you can play, okay? One is, my favorite is to get the citrus peeler, okay, in the little opening here, in the water bottle, okay? So you put the little, open that up, okay? And then you're gonna have them, they're gonna stand up, okay? And they're gonna put their arm out and know they can't go down or up, whatever. And they're gonna try to drop the citrus peeler into the water bottle. Yay, I did it. <laughs> Not a lot of cheat like that, okay? This goes on the floor. Um, so if they get it in the water bottle, they do get to keep the citrus peeler. I do give them three tries, okay? Because th third time's a charm. Because they got to get the feel for it, you know, and get a drop in there. It is really fun. Sometimes I have parties where everybody gets it in. And sometimes I have parties and nobody gets it in. But this water bottle works perfect. Now, you don't have the water bottle? Find something else. You can use a quick shake. Whatever you have, I'm sure you have Tupperware somewhere. Just be innovative. There's nothing that says you have to use these pieces, all right? And you could probably think of more games than me. All right, so that's a fun one you can do. Then of course, there's the classic one. If you have the Shapo toy, better yet, you bring one. And if your host has one, you have her pull it out. And they can start talking about all the memories. Oh my goodness, I got that for my son or daughter one. And that was like 50 years ago. Yes, this is over 50 years old. And then you could do like a little race. Who can get the shapes in faster? You can have teams. So you can use the fun shape of toy. All right. Um, oh, okay. This is one of my favorites. Um, I have everybody grab uh, three shiny pennies. All right. Three shiny pennies out of their purse. We're going to do a little penny toss. Okay. And I want you to know that it does make sense to try Tupperware. Okay. And I'm looking for a new shiny penny to join our team. Okay. So we're going to play a little fun birthday game. So those are some word choices you can work into your party as you're doing these fun games. Everything has a purpose, guys. 
Yes, we wanna have fun. We are celebrating Tupperware's birthday, but bottom line is you're looking for a new host. You're looking for a new team member. You're looking for more sales. Everything has a purpose. All right, so if you have the Servalier bowl set, you're gonna line these up. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, you know, like, I don't know, maybe 10 feet away. And you're gonna put the bigger bowl first and the smaller bowl farther away. And of course, you're gonna take the seals off of them. Okay, and then you're gonna give them their, their pennies, and they're gonna toss the pennies in the um in the uh in the bowls, and you know the closest one, the, whatever you do, if you're doing raffle tickets, tupper bucks, uh, points, whatever, you give them the least amount of points if they get it in the first about bowl, and you know a thousand points or a thousand tupper bucks if they get it in the smallest bowl, which is furthest away. Okay, just fun, interactive, and um like that. If you don't have those bowls, guys, use whatever bowls you have at home. Okay. Impression bowls, uh, Wonderlier bowls, uh, Fats of bowls, whatever you have. Use modular mates. It doesn't matter, okay? It's fun. Use what you have. All right, what else? Oh, oh, okay, speaking of bowls, let's go here. I just got stuff everywhere. <laughs> it's a birthday party, right, guys? Are you having fun yet? All right, the chip in the bowl. Now, you can do this with the serving center, or you can do it with the chip in the bowl. Like, again, you can use whatever you have, okay? I decided to use the chip in the bowl since, it, since it's on sale. And all of these products, guys, are going to get a demo. You're going to give them a quick demo, all right? You're not going to play these games without telling them about what are these servalier bowls. They're the host gift, and you can go into all that, all right? You're going to tell them about, I, you know what? Tupperware calls this the chip in the bowl. I call it the all-American party bowl. Every home in America needs the chip and dip bowl, okay? It is your popcorn bowl. It is your chips and salsa bowl. It is your salad bowl. It is your... Uh, put ice in there, okay? These little bowls can come on and off, all right? So you can take the little bowls off. You can fill it up with ice, and if you love shrimp cocktail, you can put your uh, shrimp here, and you can have your cocktail sauce right in there, and your shrimp is going to stay nice and chilled, all right? If you have a, a fruit tray or something like that, it'll keep it nice and chilled. Um, <laughs> I remember this one time we were doing a white one, uh, a, a punch party, and so I was going to make this um, punch, and I told her we were going to have some white wine. We're going to make punch with this white wine. Well, anyway, she had a chip in the bowl. When I got to her house, she had the chip in the bowl, my host, filled with ice. But then she had six white wine bottles. They fit perfectly in here. And then she had her cheese and crackers in here and her little dip bowls with dips and stuff. All right. So you can see how this bowl is got to be in your home. It is the All-American Party Bowl. I know it says chip and dip bowl, but forget that, <laughs> okay? All right, girls. So you can put some fun little gadgets, but um, check out the, the supplies. You can get the little the little gadget bags, all right, tiny treasure bags, and you're gonna get your um, your your little egg scoops, all right? Uh, around Easter time, these are great. If you're on a diet, this is your diet spoon for 30 days. Everybody laughs, it makes it hilarious, all right? Make something silly about it. Make something silly. Somebody, somebody's not on mute. Make something silly. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you guys can hear me. All right. So in my now in these big places, I'm gonna put little tiny treasures. Okay. In the little smaller one, I'm gonna put like a little mini. Or a little uh, a midget, okay, smidget, okay, uh, little the little magnets, all right, the bigger fun things that everybody wants, all right. And I'm gonna attach those. You know, you can put those little dip bowls on the inside or the outside of your chip bowl, all right. So wherever you want to do it. And again, you can use the pennies to toss in there, whatever they toss land in. That's the little gadget they get, all right. Just fun little birthday games, all right. And um, there's more. Wait, there's more. This is a fun one. Wait, I gotta pull it up. Here it is. <laughs> It is, you can play this game a couple of different ways. And then this is the story of Earl Tupper's dream, okay? And so I usually have a wrap little gift. And guys, any time that you see the 20 piece right now, if you don't have this, you need to get this and you need to stock up, you need more than one, all right? Right there, do you know how many party gifts you have and you're gonna get sales credit? Okay, you can buy tiny treasure bags, but you don't get any sales credit. Okay, you're going to get sales credit on this. Plus, you're going to get your discount on this. And these can be your little gifts. So that is what I use in my little um, party gift and auction gifts and that kind of stuff. I am going to get sales credit, just saying. Okay, so anytime you see sets like that, it is where you break it up 
and you use that for all your gift giving, okay? Now, um, now it's really nice to, to get the bowl, but it's even nicer when it's wrapped, okay? I mean, it's clear cellophane with a little bow on it. It's not a party without, you know, crinkly and bows, okay? You gotta have bows, all right? And anyway, so um, where was I going? Oh yeah, the, <laughs> the Tupperware, Earl, Earl Tupperware's dream. So this is the right left game. So you can have a little gift like this and then everyone's like in a circle and they're gonna pass the gift to the right or the left when they hear the story, okay? Earl Tupperware started his idea with the right design. And so they're gonna pass it to the right. And then he realized the seal on a paint can keep the paint fresh and decided he could use the same principle to keep food fresh in the right type of container. And they keep going, all right? And then Earl Tupperware, uh, but it, oh, wait a minute, wait. It left him flat. Oh, Earl put Tupperware in stores, but it left him flat <laughs> because then Brownie Wise came in, um, to him with the right idea, okay? Let's sell direct through the party plan, all right? So it's all about Brownie Wise. This is her birthday month. Let's celebrate Brownie. I'll post the game in um, the champion team. Um, what else did I have? Oh, I have um, uh, the, the straws here. All right, you can attach. I didn't have time to put bows on everything, but I would put bows on every single straw. I would hang little keychains or whatever you can hang from them, okay? And then um, thank you so much for coming to the party. You are free to take one of my, my whistle straws here that you can use over and over and over again. They are dishwasher safe. And inside is your magic fortune. It's your fortune. You know, I know a lot of times at the end of the dinner, you get a, a fortune cookie, but I don't have fortune cookies. <laughs> I have fortune straws. And inside is your fortune. If you want to play, you're welcome to take the straw. You're going to keep the keychain. And you get to do whatever your little fortune says. And this one says, yay, you want a Tupperware party with me? <laughs> Guys, make it fun, make it silly, have a purpose to what you're doing. My games either led to um, recruiting, my games led to sales with the little demos, my game led to have more parties. So all these little ideas are fun, fun, fun. And there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, that right left game, if you don't wanna do it that way, I've done this before. Um, and I just have, I set my alarm to three minutes. You guys have three minutes, all right? And you can ask me anything you want about my Tupperware business, all right? Not how old I am, well, not my favorite piece of Tupperware, <laughs> all right? But anything you want to ask me about my, my business, all right? And maybe you've told them your story already, okay? Or a little bit of something. And so every time they ask a question, they pass it to the person that asked the question. When the alarm goes off, that person gets to keep the little gift, all right? So I hope you had some fun birthday uh, party ideas. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot one. This is really fun. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just excited. <laughs> you're gonna take one of our seals and you can do this in teams. You're gonna have two teams and the seal, you can't see because I'm sitting, but you're gonna have them put the seal between their legs and without using their hands, they're gonna pass the seal to the person, to the next person, right? So you can have two teams and whoever passes the seal all the way down without dropping it wins, okay? And you can do a little pumpkin. Anyway, I can keep, keep going on as you can tell, <laughs> but this is what I wanna leave you with. Give yourself a gift, date yourself, an in-home party, whether you do it to, at your neighbor's house next door, your sister's house, your mommy's house, your own home, whatever it is, I'm going to dare you to date a birthday party, okay? In the next seven days, live, so you can play all these fun games and I wanna hear all about it. All right, who's next? <laughs> all right, thank you so much. And we're gonna introduce um, Ellen. Ellen is gonna talk to you about having games ready for birthday parties at your virtual parties. So take it away, Ellen, are you gonna take our screen? I am, I am. So, um, hey there, everybody. So I'm gonna talk to you about the virtual side of it. So she challenged you, if you um, don't do home parties regularly to date and name home party, I'm gonna challenge you the opposite. If you don't do virtual parties regularly, I dare you to date a virtual party. So you can try some of these things, right? Because nothing kind of solidifies training that you've listened to by other than like acting on it, right? That's what really kind of, then you own this idea, right? Then you've put it into practice right away. And you know what? 
Don't be afraid to fail. I joke about when Pam, when I first started, Pam said, how, jump. And I said, how high? I didn't ask her questions. I just did it. Do you think that every time I jumped high enough to clear any sort of a bar that she set for me? Uh, no, I did not. There are times I fell on my face, <laughs> but that's how I learned my limits and what I was comfortable with and where I, I felt like maybe I needed to grow. And so that's what we're encouraging you to do. So if the thought of doing a home party totally freaks you out, try it anyways. So you can implement one of these ideas and tell your friends like, hey, I need to do this practice party because I heard this idea and I want to try it out and just just go from there. Right. And the same thing on the virtual side. So I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite games to do in a virtual party, whether it's a Facebook party or a messenger. All right, party. Go on. Go. Oh, <laughs> whether it's a Facebook party or a messenger party um, is the dice game. All right. And so we talked, this has been around for a couple of years now um, and we have it in boards. It's also in our champion team page. I believe in the albums or guides or something like that. Talk to your director. They'll get you wherever you need to go to get the resources for this um, and even the instructions. So if you don't remember everything I said, it's okay because it's written step by step by step for you to be able to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screens and I am going to hold on I'm going to show you uh the um let's see here make sure I'm sharing the right thing <laughs> Um, I am going to share with you, uh, first, I'm going to share with you doing it in a Facebook party, right? So this is our copy and paste um, uh, Facebook page. Can somebody just give me a nod that they see that? Is that what we're like? Okay, thank you, Jenny. All right, so um, so I went ahead and I actually loaded this in here earlier today. So some of you, if you get the notification, you may have been like, what's she doing? So I'm glad you just didn't pay any attention to me. <laughs> So I could do this for you now. So um, so what you do is when it comes time to do this dating game, you're going to load these four pictures, okay? And these four pictures explain exactly what needs to be done, right? So the idea behind it is, is the dice game was actually an in-home party game that we would use to date parties and people would physically roll dice and they would... Um, and, and they would then, whatever the number is they rolled, they would get an envelope with that number on it, physically get an envelope, and on the inside would be a prize. So this is the virtual version of that, all right? So you post these four images together, and it's great because when you post four, they look just like this, so it's a nice grid. And then in the comments right away, let me see here, of course. In the comments, as soon as you post this, you post the GIF, all right? So the way you find this GIF is you go to where the GIFs are, right? And you just type in dice game and you scroll down. It might be the first thing that pops up. It might be down below. It might be different colors. It doesn't matter what the colors are. Whatever you find that's a rolling dice like this, that's a GIF, go ahead and post that. And then you put in there, it's time to roll the dice, take a screenshot and share what you rolled here in the comments. And I'll message you the corresponding envelope. Now, Fun fact, when you do this, there are people that don't know how to do a screenshot and that's okay, all right? So they might need a little bit of help. And a lot of times the host will say, and most times my host steps in, they're like, I got to Judy and they take the screenshot. They're like, this is Judy's number. All right, so um, so don't, if that starts happening, don't don't get scared, um, but, but that just know that sometimes that does happen. Not all the time, it just kind of depends. So what they do is they take a screenshot. So down below, this is me taking the screenshot. This is what it's going to look like, right? They're going to post that screenshot and you see right there, I rolled a three, right? So I, I then as the, as the consultant go, oh, I see you rolled a three, Ellen. Yay. Check your messages from me in a minute, right? So then I'm going to go to, I actually even have, I was all set up for you guys. Hold on. I'm going to move our faces out of the way. All right. So where is, where am I? All right. So, so there, um, don't pay any attention. I'm, I'm what I'm going to do. So I'm going to act like this is a consultant. Hold on. I got to get something out of my way. Come over here. There we go. All right. So I'm going to, mm. <laughs> it keeps popping up there at the bottom. Hold on. There we go. Now I can see it. All right. So I'm going to act like this is this is the person that rolled the three, right? Ellen Lewis, right? Don't pay attention to Eric Lewis. I'll get to that in a minute. All right. So Ellen Lewis, I'm the person that rolled a three. And so what I do is I'm going to go to boards, right? Because I have all this loaded in boards and I have it under, under party games. And right here, the prize envelopes. 
and I rolled a three. So this person is going to get free shipping. So I'm going to share that. Oh gosh, this thing's in the way again. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to share that and I'm going to be like, hey, congrats, you rolled a three. Hold on, I got to get the words for it, right? And so, but this is kind of what goes on behind the scenes. So you guys are like literally seeing what, what happens. Actually, I take that back. I'm supposed to do this first. So I post in there, I post, let me get rid of that. And I post this. All right, I post, I'm going to put, put the name in here. Hey, Ellen, right? Because don't leave name because that's just awkward. All right, so I'm going to post this and it says, hey, Ellen, before we open the envelope, I have a special deal for, deal for you. You can win what's in the envelope. Plus, I'll give you the grand prize if you plan to do a Facebook party with your friends. Just reply deal if you want it all or hold if you want just what's in the envelope. You see what I did there, right? It's kind of like we've talked about doing the smidget party before and we tell them like, hey, if you date a party before you open this smidget, you're going to get what's in the smidget plus you're going to get blah, 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 right? It's literally the same concept. So depending upon what the person puts, let's just say they say, um, I'm going to hold, right? Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find the prize envelopes. I'm going to find the number three. And then I'm just going to go back. And I'm gonna paste that. And then I'm just gonna say, wow, congrats. And they'll say, talk to me. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna type it, talk to me at checkout and I will get you your free shipping or whatever, right? And so, um, so then you have that. So that's literally what happens. And so as people are like, I have a three, I have a five, I have a blah, blah, blah. This is what you're doing in Messenger over and over. And you're starting these conversations with people, right? If they decide to go ahead and deal, right? They're like, I'll take the deal. I'm going to date the party. I'm going to get whatever's in this envelope and, and the grand prize. Then you say, what I usually do is I say something along the lines of like, hey, I'll get back to you and we will get a date. I'm so excited, blah, 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 blah. And then after I am finished like corresponding with everybody, I circle back to that person. I say, these are the dates I have available. I have next Tuesday, next Thursday. What, what do you want? Right. All right. So I say it nicer than that, of course. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to look at the way it looks in a messenger party. So the way it looks in a messenger party is over here. This is Eric Lewis, right? So he's my host. And so instead of posting all four of those things, let me see, that's not it. Um, let me find me again real quick as I posted it. So this is what happens. If you post all four of those images, it shows up kind of like this sometimes. So it's not a perfect grid and it's hard to read. They have to click on it to read. So for a messenger party, I changed it up and all I did was post the rolling dice. And then I explained everything that's gonna happen all in the words, feeling lucky, this is how it works, you know, and I go ahead and tell them and then they go ahead, they do their screenshots, I'm like, great. And I do the same thing, yay, I see you got a three, check your messages in a few minutes. And we go over to the messages. And so, um, so let me show you really quick where these are located in boards. Like I said, in Champion, they are, um, I, I think they're in the guides or they're in an album. All right, so um, so the dice game. So we these here are all of our Facebook party games. Um, we have some of Chris Dunham's party games. She has in here Scavenger Hunt One, Scavenger Hunt Two, um, Deal or No Deal game, and then here is the dice game. Now under Messenger Party, this is where I've adapted it to. Oops, I rearranged things. Sorry. This is where I adapted it to the Messenger Party, and so it's actually in the Messenger Party here, and you see the rolling dice. And then you see, this is where it says feeling lucky, right? That's what I, I posted the words. And then here are all the envelopes and I actually changed them up so they reflect a messenger party. And so, um, and so I put on there, you know, win extra points because I'm giving points away in this party. Um, grand prize winner. I don't, I'm not specific on what the grand prize is because I don't know what it is. It depends on what I have on hand. I didn't want to have to keep changing the envelopes and all of that. So, um, so you see kind of how I just kind of adjusted that accordingly for, um, for the messenger party. So, um, so I hope that that helps. I'm telling you when I started using the, um, the dice game in parties years ago, 
I went from dating maybe one Facebook party to dating three to five Facebook parties from every time I did the dice game. Then it kind of got old, right? Because everybody was using it. Okay. So it kind of got a little bit stale, but it's coming back around because that's what happens, right? It gets stale. Everybody stops using it. And now it's coming back around and it's mud and it's just as effective as it was at that time when it first came out. So um, I hope, yeah, Amy says, I use it again too. Yeah, it cycles back, it's it's fun. It's the same thing in home parties. You, you do certain games and then everybody starts doing them at all the various non-Tupperware home parties. And then um, everybody gets tired of them. And then we bring them back in a, another couple of years and they're new again. It's kind of like bell bottoms, right? <laughs> all right, anyway. Back to you, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thank you. That was awesome. I hope you guys are so inspired to do and try these games that you are um, very focused on getting an in-home party and do it yourself. I'm telling you, I had huge success with when I needed to pick up my business, I would start, I called up my home base. <laughs> I would go back home to my home base and I'd have an in-home party. Um, and I will share with you, if you have children, um, I know Mother's Day just happening last week. We talked about our mother and daughter um, demo, my, da my son and my daughter and my grandson. We did a demo. Let me tell you, I built my business on mother and daughter parties and I had huge success and I did it year round. And um, when I needed mother and daughter parties, I would have one in my home and Ashley would get to invite all of her friends and they had to invite their friends um, and they could bring friends. And if they brought a friend, they got a gift, but everybody had to bring their mom. And it was so much fun. And these little girls begged their moms to come to the Tupperware party because it was at Ashley's house and they were going to get a free gift uh, if they came to the Tupperware party. We did really fun things using Tupperware uh, for making everything from shaved soap to making um, uh, literally lip balm and uh, slime way back then, homemade Play-Doh, depending on the age group that I was working with. And it was a huge success. And I will tell you the best part was, is Ashley got to be the princess that night because it was at her house. And I would tell them, if it's at your house, you get to be the prince or the princess at your house too. And so you need to ask mom, but if it's okay with mom, you can play our game. And I would do the smidget game. And they got to play the smidget game. Well, these little kids were dating all my parties for me. They'd be like, please, mommy, can we have a party? Can we have a party, please? And it was hysterical because I would be laughing on the inside thinking this is awesome. And on the outside, I'd be acting calm and cool. Like, this is so fun. The girls are going to love it. Um, and if you want to do it in your home, we'll certainly let uh, your little guy or your little daughter be the prince or princess. And they were my party helpers. And so I highly recommend it. It's awesome. All right. And honestly, if you don't have little kids, do it with your big kids, do it with your grandkids. It's just fun. And I will tell you another thing we did is I always took um, a snack cup or a um, mini and the it said my first Tupperware on it that I had pre-written on there with uh, markers that write on Tupperware, right on plastic. And they got to go home with that. And I told them that was for their tooth fairy and the tooth fairy loved Tupperware. And they would put their teeth in the piece of Tupperware underneath their pillow. And it worked perfect for the little ones. And they loved it. And it's so funny because some of Ashley's friends have it still. <laughs> so they say so they are so cute. They say, I need more Tupperware, Mrs. Clift. They still call me Mama Clift, but um, it's so cute because it's really building memories. And so build memories and build your business too, because those kind of things are the things that really uh, create a fun business. Make your business fun. If it's not fun, my rule is, you know, we had a plaque in the house that said, if mommy ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> I believe that if the Tupperware lady ain't happy at a party, ain't nobody happy. All right. So if you're bored, they're bored. If you don't like it, they don't like it. You got to have fun and light up that party. All right. All right. So we're going to go back to our screens for a little bit. And I want to share my screens and talk to you about Brownie Weiss again, because honestly, um, 
Brownie Weiss was such a wonderful lady. And one of the things we want to make sure everybody leaves here with is knowing more about Brownie. And so when Brownie was a single mom, how many of you can relate to that? I'm sure there's some of you on here. Uh, she needed to make more money. So she started her Tupperware, started her uh, fuller brush business and turned it into a Tupperware business and did so extremely well um, and, and built the what we know as today as the party plan. And, um, you know, she had a lot of great quotes, um, but one of my favorite quotes was build the people and the people will build the business. And to me, I have built my business on that, knowing that when I build even in my party, when I built the people at my party, those people would build my business. And I want you to know it goes all the way up in your career and your ladder of success. It will always be when you build other people, you will build your business. You cannot outgive. Um, you cannot out um, out uh, out demo or you know the ideas the recipes online right now your vip group um uh, and you know going above and beyond what other people do and this is the other trick i always did with myself was i would always say to myself every morning if i were the very best tupperware lady in the world which i am um what would i do today and i would create my plan for my day thinking I'm the best Tupperware lady in the world. I've got to up my ante. So what am I going to do today? I would, the very best Tupperware lady in the world is probably um, working on dating more parties. She's probably working on recruiting new team members. She's probably making sure and doing callbacks with customers and making sure their product came in and they're loving it. Um, she's probably sending new recipes out. Um, and you know, you have, if you have grow now, you can see everybody that bought anything um, from your business, you can actually put that in the in the grow now and it'll come up and say, maybe for instance, the, um, you know, you find somebody that's bought cookware and you could give them the message that, hey, I've got a great cookware recipe or the grill on sale right now. You find somebody that has the grill and say, hey, I bet you'd like to have a grill recipe and send them out a grill recipe and let them know that if they want a grill on, you know, on sale, they're on sale right now for gift giving, for weddings, for showers, for kids going to college. Uh, so customer care like that and customer business like that and customer service like that will build your business. And that's why the Brownie Wise quote to me was so special because building the people, letting the people build the business. So we have some ways to build you. And so let's get started with that. First of all, it is our birthday party. We've got double host credit, yay. And we're doing great, all right? I wanna tell you, um, we're at 148,000. I need to fix that. That's all the way up here, right there, that line right there. We're doing so good. We have two more weeks, but I'd really like to finish it out this week and make our goal before the end of the week. So I know I'm a big thinker, but that's probably kind of normal for me, okay? Big thinking Pam um, and my rose colored glasses on. I see big opportunity for all of us to grow right now. This is an opportunity for us to really sink our feet in and grow our business. Tupperware is not only in the news, but people need us. They need us. They need a product that has, um, it, that's got a lifetime guarantee, but more than that, they need a safe product. And so get busy with your message and let people know that Tupperware is BPA free. Let people know that we have the most amazing product on the market and let's um, be the party, uh, the solution. So our goal for the month is 250,000 because we're big thinkers. Dora, don't listen to me in case you... <laughs> She, the, Tupperware has a different goal for us, but this is where I want to go. All right. So I want to be a goal maker. Um, but last week we were number one, congratulations in um, personal set in, in team sales. Um, yay. We like being number one, right? And in recruiting, congratulations. We were also number one. Good congratulations, champion. I am so proud of you guys. I'm not kidding. I just get so excited and so proud of leading such an amazing group of wonderful champions. And speaking of wonderful, congratulations, Manel Franklin. Uh, what an outstanding job, number one in the entire company, number two in recruiting. Number two in the entire company was also a champion, Christine Walker, number three in the entire company of North America, or this is the region. 
this is the region. Um, region uh, was um, two is Christine Walker and three uh, is Ellen Lewis and four is Loretta. Um, then we also have Helen Smith recognized in the region and Jennifer Cheatham recognized in the region and also uh, Shannon uh, uh, Blystone. Congratulations, all recognized in the region in recruiting. Um, we also have top 10 sellers, uh, team sales. Congratulations, number five, Ellen Lewis, and number seven, Loretta Desenzo Tiber. So, did you make reason recognition? Let's check that out. Congratulations in personal sales. Uh, this is um, number five, Loretta, number six, Christine Moreau, and number 18, Sarah Troyer, and number 21, Mary Marlin, and number 22, congratulations, Marsha Richmond. Way to go, guys. So this is so fun to make uh, the region's recognition. But what about the national? Last week, we were number six in the nation uh, for sales and number three in the nation for, rec uh, for recruiting. So congratulations also to Ellen Lewis, top 50, number 15, um, top 50 org leaders, Ellen Lewis and Loretta, number nine, Ellen, and 44, Loretta. Congratulations, top 100 directors and team sales. Uh, number 25, where's PC Champs? And number 40, Ellen Lewis, number 52, Loretta, top 100 directors and team recruits last week. Ellen Lewis, number five, wow, number 17. Team Manel Franklin and number uh, 21, Jenny Cheatham. Congratulations. Uh, top 100 managers in unit sales, number 14, Lori Morris, number 75, Angela Robal, and number 16, Heather Smith. Congratulations. All right, now champions, week 20, number four in direct sales and personal sales. We have number four. Loretta DeCenzo Tiber, congratulations. Number 91, Jessica Gordon, uh, top 100 managers in personal sales, number 92, Paula Berry, and top 100 consultants in personal sales, number two in the nation, Christina Moreau, number 18, Sarah Troyer, number 23, Mary Marlin, number 26, uh, Marsha Richmond, and number 16, Christine Walker. How fun is that, champion? Um, number seven in top 100 directors and personal recruits, uh, we have... Uh, Number seven, Christina Moreau. Number eight, Loretta Desenzo Tiber. And number 16, Ellen Lewis. Top 100 consultants in personal recruiting. Congratulations, Christine Walker. Uh, number two. All right. And you know what? All champion directors have a goal, and we're reaching for those goals and running after those goals as fast as we can to make that happen. And that's where I want to talk to you again is about setting goals and making sure you're making them happen. So we are going to take all of you that uh, every single champion that sells 7,500 will go to a special mystery trip with Pam and Jim at 10,000. You go on the mystery trip and get a gift. And some of you are well on your way. Now, if you are not local, you'll get a mystery trip in a box. How fun is that? All right. I can't wait to send some. <laughs> so if you're not local, no worries. Now, honoring Brownie this week and all week, we are going to have um, Doug and Peter, um, our president and 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 Doug's title, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, um, it was a marketing director, I believe, uh, is going to be honoring, we are going to be honoring Brownie Wise. And so for every 110, because this would be her 110th birthday, um, we are going to be able to have a drawings and there's going to be 20 drawings in each region and one big drawing in each region. And you get a chance on the drawing for every $110 in order to submit. Awesome, right? When you submit um, $200, you will get your sticker for the week and also be on pace to get all five bonus stickers. When you do it every single week, $200 every week, you'll be on pace for the bonus sticker. And this week also with $250, you're going to get the Brownie Wise container. There's no color choice, but how cool is that to have a piece of history that you can use every day for lunch or use it to keep some makeup in. I love these little guys for makeup traveling. Um, that's cool. And then, wow, you're within one week. All right. WOW stands for within one week. What is your goal? And I'm inviting you to make that goal to have a recruit this week and get a surprise gift from me. I want to give you a birthday present surprise. And I know it's not your birthday, but it's our birthday in Tupperware. And I'd love to give you a birthday surprise. Don't you love getting surprises in the mail? All right. So within one week, you have to get a birthday surprise from me in the mail. Now, here's the deal. I want you always to have a goal 
within one week. Um, and so I want to thank you for actually putting up your name in the um, in the post. Um, and so we're going to go to Jenny real quick. Jenny, and can you help us with our drawing for everybody that put in um, what their within one week goal was on the post? All right, All right. I'm just going to hit the button. Heather Smith. Heather Smith, you're the lucky winner for posting your one week goal. You know what? I want to tell you, if you're not sending a goal every single day and every single week in your business and in your life, you're wasting time. It is one of the things that we all need to do in order to be the people that we can be. Um, and I really want to encourage you to discipline yourself to have daily goals and weekly goals, of course, monthly goals, and more important, where is your vision for you and your business in six months and six years? And so set down and write those things kind of things down and change it up. When you motivate yourself and you feel very inspired, change it up, all right, and um, up your goals. And so now it's time for us to do another one of our um, races. And yes, we can see it. Yeah, we see okay, it. so we have Joni Shalot. Congratulations. Oh my goodness. You are going to win this, Joni. Uh-oh, who's coming up? Fred Jordan, you've been doing this all night and you are going to win. And the winner is Fred. Congratulations. All right, let's shuffle that and race again. Um, congratulations though, Fred. That is so fun. And let's shuffle all our names and let's get it. A, pardon. What's he win? He wins logo wear. This is Carson, everybody. This is my youngest granddaughter. Hi. <laughs> How old are you, Carson? 11. 11. Mm, she looks just like her daddy, my son. Yep. She's mm. a mini, mini Jimmy. That's what everybody calls her, a little mini Jimmy. All right, let's get this race started. Here we go. And our winner is going to be riding, racing up ahead is Terry Farino. Oh, yes, Terry Farino. You are ahead. You. Oh, that's a pretty pink car, Terry. All right. Oh, my goodness. Is she going to stay ahead the whole time or is somebody going to pull out? Uh oh, who's coming? 16. Number 16. Who is that? Oh, Terry has got that. Terry, who's got it? Woohoo. Oh, my goodness. That's the first time I've seen the race car come out and win. All right. Our last race. Oh, congratulations, Terry. All right. Our last race. We're going to race again. We're going to shuffle them up and get it started. And so, okay. Here. This one, who do you think is going to win? I can only see Shannon. Shannon. Okay, Shannon. let's get it started. Let's see if Shannon wins. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Deb Morris, you're ahead. Pulling ahead of Deb Morris, number 13, with a really pretty navy blue car. Paula Berry coming out and Jerry Fortune coming out. Deb Morris, you're still ahead. And our race has got six seconds left. And on the race, on Ooh. the run. Oh, strong pull ahead. Joni Schlott, you are. Oh, all right. All right, five winners. You've got to make sure that you definitely buy your samples in the 48-hour challenge so that you you can get in on these fun races. All right. All right. That was so fun. Now it is time for us to turn this over to um, Jenny, who's going to make a fun cake. Jenny, are you ready? I am. All right. All right. So we're going to do things a little different. So you can put in the chat if you want what I could have used instead. But I'm going kind of retro tonight. So I'm just going to use a bowl and a whisk and a spatula because I don't have to make the whole cake mix. Now, here's the important thing. We are gonna make this cake in the grill and we can do that for birthday month, but everybody likes cake anytime. So you can make a birthday cake at a party anytime or an anniversary cake or just a party cake. So if you don't have a grill yet, one, they're on sale right now. And two, if you're having your own party and you get to $1,000 and you have $400 in host credits, there is no better grill than a free grill. So if you don't have one yet, make sure that you are working to get your own because you need the ring, you need the grill. I've had so much fun with this thing all day. I can't even begin to tell you. But what I'm gonna show you real quick, this is so simple. You take a box cake mix and you use some oil. This is simpler if you do the whole cake mix at once. I did it in thirds so that I could have two of them ready for you tonight. So I had to figure out, the biggest challenge today was figuring out what a third of a half a cup was, which is why we have things like Google. 
<laughs> because I couldn't figure it out, but she knew. So this is, this comes in our tiny treasure sometimes. It is an egg separator. You wanna talk about retro? This is a retro egg separator, you guys. So the other thing that we have that is also an egg separator is um, the all-in-one make that is on sale right now. But like I said, we're going retro. So this is an egg separator. And what that does is it separates the egg white from the egg yolk. Now that's not important a lot of times unless you're making a white cake. And I remember my grandmother, she used to get like very, very adamant about only the egg whites in a white cake. If you put the yellow in a white cake, it becomes a yellow cake. It doesn't ruin the cake, it just isn't white anymore. So, all right, so we have our egg white. See, and there's the egg yolk right in there. We're gonna put the egg white in here. And we're only doing a third of the cake mix, which is what's left in here, which is just about a cup. So we're gonna pour that in there. And even if you're using, you know, if we use um, the supersonic or you use the whip and mix, you know you put the liquid in first. Actually, that's a good idea no matter when you're doing it. So if you're just using a box and you're just using, you know, even a mixer or your whisk, whatever, put the wet ingredients in the bowl first. It just works better. Now, say you got your thumb holder. So if you're demoing this, especially if you're doing it online or if you're doing it at a party, you can hold it like this and you can hold this bowl so that they can see how easy it is to whip up and this whisk is in our line, guys. It's part of the set that occasionally you can grab it by itself if you watch the back office. So, you know, that's on you. You gotta watch that stuff. Now, all right, so we've got that all mixed up. And I'm telling you, this is just so simple. You've got the ring in the grill. You're gonna take this, set it over here. We're going to take our spatula, other good thing, all right, we're going to take the spatula, and we're just going to put this in here. Now, this afternoon, I made a blue one, and I made a pink one, so you can get, and on this person, I am not scraping that all out. You could, you could scrape that all out, but as a mom of five kids, somebody has to get the lift the bowl. I might be the only one here that's going to do that. But it's kind of like in my DNA. I have to leave a little bit in there, but it would all scrape out. So we're going to take some of this. We're going to take and food coloring. The bottles have changed over the years. How many comes in a pack has changed over the years. I'm going to tell you what has not changed over the years. If you get this on yourself, it's going to dye your fingers. So remember that if you're doing this at a mom and me party or you have somebody little helping you out make sure that they have maybe some gloves or that mom doesn't care. It's a great time for aprons because it will get on your clothes. Oh, this is a pretty color. So we are just gonna stir this up in here to make our cake this pretty green, okay? And you can do any colors you want. You get that fun funfetti frosting, stuff like that. And you just make the cake pretty, guys. Oh, look. And there's cake batter on the spatula. So I'm gonna have to put that in there too. Now, you use the grill cover and you put it in the casserole position, right on top of there. And you put this in the microwave for seven minutes at, and this is very important, write this on your hand. If you're at a party, on your wrist, somewhere, 70% power. That's very important because if you put it in there for seven minutes at 100% power, you're going to have a burnt birthday cake, which is not near as much fun as one that is not burnt. So I'm going to put this in here real quick, and then I'm going to show you what else we had today. And you can talk about changing the power on microwaves to people. A lot of people have had microwaves for years, and they do not realize they can do that, okay? They're like, my microwave doesn't change power. It does. It really, really does. So I'm going to show you the two layers that I made earlier today that's in our cake taker. Oh, yes, the cake taker that they can get for $10 if they have $350 party and two days. This is it. So we have that. And see how cute that is? It comes out. Whoops. 
they come out so cute. They come out just, I mean, flat on the bottom so you can stack them really easy. I just use hand frosting. I'm gonna be really honest with you. If Pam was here and she had made the buttercream frosting, that would have been way better, but she is not and I do not. So we're just gonna put the frosting on here and you have to let these cool. So I'm not gonna put that other one on right away. And that's fine too, because it's just like a separate little cake all by itself. So if you have this two layer cake, which is gonna be really pretty, and then you have the other layer all by itself, you kind of have an extra snack, just in case people show up after you've cut this one and it's almost gone, you can go, oh no, wait, that's okay, I have another one. And they can just feel like they're very special when they have their own. Or, you know, those first birthdays, you can do the two layer cake for everybody else with one cake mix. And you can do your smash cake with the other, with the, uh, with the third one. The other thing is, if you use more than one box, okay, you can stack this up. I can just made five and six layer cakes, but the recipe is on, it's on Champion, um, in the micro grill with Champion, the Tupperware Champion. It's on our website for uh, Champion. And if you look, it's also on the Tupperware Bath Office website. So we got all of this. And let me tell you why I sell Tupperware, because I would not have made a dime as a cake decorator. But that's okay, because remember birthday party? <laughs> I was watching a thing on birthday parties today. And they have changed a lot since my kids were little. Now my kids are in, they're anywhere from 33 to 43. And when they had a birthday party, we had 10, 15 kids at the house. Everybody played outside. If it was winter, they played inside. We ate cake. They got a little party bag and they went home. My daughter just took um, her niece to a birthday party at a trampoline park and they did all this other stuff. So this is me being glad that I was doing birthday parties 30 years ago instead of now because that's just, I'm, I'm not that person, okay? And then we have sprinkles because you can't have a birthday cake without them being pretty. Um, I have to find something to use with the sprinkles. I'll bet I can find a spoon. Hey, I'm just a spoon. You could also put your sprinkles in a spice shaker, and that's fine because then you can just sprinkle them all over the place. But there, so we're just going to make it pretty, right? And you can add candles if you want to, or not if you don't want to. So while that's cooking, and there's still somebody else, I'm going to show you one more thing, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how easy that is to take out after we do a couple more things. But I do want to show you this afternoon, I also, because I figured I'm doing this, why not? There is a recipe for a giant chocolate chip cookie. Now, I made a giant peanut butter chip cookie because I didn't want to put chocolate in this because I wanted everybody in the house to be able to eat it. This is so good. And this was three and a half to four minutes. It'll depend on your microwave again at 80 percent power because you don't want to burn cooking but it came out so perfect and so pretty and you know if you go to the store and you buy those big chocolate chip cookies it costs a lot this only had five ingredients in it and if you guys know me okay i don't bake from scratch that is not a thing okay i am the person that when we want the chocolate chip cookies at home i went and bought the bowl and cut it right i mean this from scratch, it was brown sugar, flour, vanilla, eggs, butter, and sugar. I don't even know if it was brown sugar. That was it. Mixed it all up, put it just like that with some chips in the uh, ring in the grill, four and a half minutes, and it came out perfect. So we'll go do whatever else everybody else has, and then come back and I will show you how easy it is to get this cake out of the ring whenever it gets done. Thank you so much. Great job. How fun was that? Um, I love the the chocolate chip cookie too, by, by the way. Um, and I have made beautiful rainbow cakes using that entire um, stack with the grill. And it's as pretty as can be. It just looks so cute. Um, my daughter's birthday is May 31st. So we'll be making a cake for her, huh? You gonna help? Ashley? Yeah. This is in May. May 31st. Yes. Right. All right. So we have the honor of having um, Dora with us. And I know that um, she is um, waiting to speak to you about recruiting. But first, we're going to have an idea tech talk from Nikki. So take it away, Nikki. Hi, guys. Super excited to share. 
So lots of you guys see all these videos on Facebook and maybe you're saying, I was talking to Pam about this, maybe you're saying, I don't like how I sound. I don't want to be on camera. I've had a long day. I don't want to have to get all dialed up for it. Well, I have a solution for you because a lot of people are stuck with this, right? And Pam knows I always like to get unstuck. Like I am team, like no excuses. Like you're just going to do anyways when life happened this year. And I had to have my mom step in for the demo. She's like, well, I'm not going to be on camera. I'm like, well, that's okay. Only your hand's going to be on camera. It's fine. So maybe you are making the cake like Jenny just did, or you're making a cold brew recipe. Maybe you're making the breakfast maker recipe. So instead of you standing there with a shaker like this and having like the camera face you like this, you're going to put this on your countertop and either you're going to set up your tripod where it's just looking down at your counter like Dia does with a lot of the Tupperware recipes or you can have your little helper so Pam can have her granddaughter do it. You can have your mom do it. You can do it when someone else is cooking, whatever you're doing and you're just going to take your phone if you're doing this and do it right over the countertop, whatever recipe you're doing. But you want it. so the tip with this is you want to video that from start to finish so that way you have a longer video to use when you need a longer one. And then you can take that long video and do it into bite-sized clips. So I'm going to show you one on my phone real fast that I did that I use in my parties just because I wanted to keep changing it up because I like changing it up for the different seasons. So I have a cake one that I did. You guys can see it's so you guys can actually see how it is. So you can see that I'm not in it but they can see like a close up of the product and they're really just seeing it in action from start to finish. This is like a shortened version, they have a longer version too. So the cake from start to finish. So you don't have to be always in the video and you don't have to talk to the no sound and it's just a really simple showing them how to make a fun birthday cake for birthday month. And then I would just post the recipe on the side. Or if you wanna get creative, you can have them message you for the recipe. Just a fun little tip for you guys, but that's just a fun way to still incorporate videos into your party when maybe you're just not comfortable yet being on camera yourself or talking. It's just a fun way to still show the product. And you can even get your kids involved in it too if they want to help you with video. All right. Thank you so much. Now, guys, I want to remind you of a couple things we have going on. Don't forget that this month, when you this week, if you get a recruit, you get invited to the progressive dinner with the FSRC ladies. And so we will start in one kitchen and go through all five kitchens and it'll be a progressive dinner. And you'll get to see five demos from five business leaders in um, the FSRC. So that's Stephanie and um, Jan, and most of you know them all and Judy and Tina and myself. So that is going to be so fun. And it's next Thursday night after our, after our team meeting, it'll start right at 9 15. And so right now it's time to, for us to go to Dora. And when you want to get a recruit, you need some ideas. Let's go to the pro and let's find out her magic that she gives to Tupperware. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Pam. Thank you. Um, am I unmuted? Yes. Um, thank you so much for inviting me. Well, you say bring the magic, so I brought my magic one. <laughs> but before we start talking about uh, recruiting or talking about magic, I do want to say congratulations, champion. I'm super, super excited week after week. Number one in recruiting, number one in sales. I'm, I, I'm not surprised anymore because you do it every single week, every single month. So, and this is not an exception, it's birthday month. And it just happened to also have the number one in personal recruits here in Champion. I mean, for the region, right? And I don't see her here tonight, but Manal, I know this is recording. So Manal, congratulations with 10 new consultants. She's our number one recruiter, personal recruits. That means she has invited 10 people to join her in this Tupperware amazing path. And I'm super proud of her. And we also have the number one in personal sales right here in Champion. And I'm super, super excited that she's actually here because I'll get to meet Christina Morrow. Congra congratulations. And uh, Christina with over $19,000 in personal sales. This is a lot of Tupperware. So, um, well, since she's here, I mean, I don't know if, Christina, could you tell us how you do that? This is so amazing. I'm so proud of you. I, I've been working a lot and I'm making lots of phone calls and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that has to be a lot of parties. Christina, you like doing in-person yes. parties or virtual parties? Uh, I mostly virtual parties and uh, do have I do have the host right now who is going to be getting uh, the um, the kit to get started. That's awesome. That's awesome. And we'll talk, we'll talk about that because that's a great opportunity. I know we have guests here tonight. And so the magic, thank you, Christina, and congratulations. We're so proud of you. And uh, the magic in Tupperware is in our Tupperware parties. So when we share our products and we're in front of people, we can share the opportunity. We can do a lot of great things. So uh, let me, um, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen so I can stay on track with what I'm going to tell you and um, right here. But um, celebrate personal parties is what brings us big, big success here in Tupperware. And now that we have added to our toolbox the many ways to party, so we can do it in person, we can do it in Facebook, we can do it in Zoom, we can do it in a messenger um, chat, we can do it on WhatsApp, we can do it in so many different ways. Um, there's an opportunity for everybody to be successful. When you, when you celebrate personal parties, you also have the opportunity to welcome new consultants that will celebrate personal parties. For those of you that are here, that are leaders, managers, directors, organization leaders, you know that um, it happens when you do a party, you are inspiring everybody in your team, in your unit. When you are recruiting, you are inspiring everybody to also recruit. So um, no matter what reason people join us, we always, always want them to party. So you can you can party to get flexible income. You can party to make your own schedule because it's flexible. You decide how many hours, how many days you want to work. And also you could party because you want to meet new people. Um, this probably happened a lot during the pandemic, right? Because this was the way to do parties. It was the way to do business. We also can party to actually make money. How many of those of you here, this is your main income. And if you uh, can calculate how much money Christina is making, that tells you the more you party, the more money you can make to really make a significant, um, a significant difference in your, in your house. And all this, when it happens, you start the path to success. Sometimes we join because we just want to have fun. I mean, we, I'm having a great time here at Rally with Champions. So I'll say yes, because I want to be part of this team. Sometimes, uh, like I say, it could be the flexibility to work, to really work on your own schedule. But, but then as you party, you will find people that will party with you and you start that path to success. We have openings in all different levels. So we're always looking for managers, always looking for directors, always, always looking for organization leaders. And all it takes is that you really share from your heart and know that our business opportunity, just like Brownie um, did so many times, our business opportunity changes lives. So Pam was sharing with us, and it's one of my favorite quotes from Brownie as well, that when we build the people, people will build the business. So that is so, so good that know that we have an opportunity to change lives out there. So for those of you that are consultants, um, don't miss the opportunity to get those recruiting incentives that we have this month. And we have, of course, that very special incentive for those um, that welcome one new consultant that places $100 in sales and they can get the ice cream scoop and those balls. And for our new consultants, and this goes to all our guests that are here, because if you are already maybe hosting your own party, this could be the opportunity to start your own business or submitting your first order. Um, you will be receiving this amazing set of that balls. And it's a $104 value for only $20. But there is more because we have this new special promotion for all the new consultants that just for submitting the first $250, they will earn $75 in retail credit. For submitting $500, that's a regular party. That's an average party. They can get 
uh, $150 in retail credit. So a lot of times, and I'm going to include there myself, when we come to Tupperware and we join, we say we want to join because we want to have a discount. Well, there you go. That's magic. So there's a lot of, that's not a discount. It's actually free. That's a lot of Tupperware with $75 or with $150 um, retail credit. And for those of you that are sharing the opportunity, I see that, that may be one of our guests tonight, Sarah Thomas. She says, me, me. So uh, we hope that you join us in Tupperware. And then those of you that are consultants will be receiving the Whip and Mix um, for only $12. That's a $65 value for only $12 when your new consultant hosts a party and submits those $500. So super, super excited. You can get up to three of them. So I would say, don't limit yourself to one. Welcome three new consultants this month. And for those of you that have already stepped up, I would give you this tip that is magic and it is always, always re-promote yourself. So I want you to think, if you're a manager or above, I want you to think the first time that you step up, that exciting feeling that you had and you needed to welcome three new consultants to step up. So re-promote yourself every month, three new consultants every month, so you can continue growing your business. This is not something new. You have seen it, and I'm not going to go like on all details, but it's a, a great reminder for those of you that are consultants, because I just want you to remember those numbers, three, six, and nine. That's magic. Remember, uh, three, six, and nine, so three new, three new consultants, three recruits. $3,000 or six consultants, $6,000 or nine recruits, nine consultants, $9,000. And those are the steps to success for the different levels of manager, manager, star manager, executive manager. Because if you are a consultant today and this is for the month and you are partying, you have the opportunity to step up easily this month. And notice that on every level, you have the, the opportunity to make that profit plus or vanguard bonus. And then also for those that step up for the first time, you can make that bonus when you step on each of the levels. And for new managers, participate in the new manager program. So that's a lot of opportunities. So again, there's magic when you party. And the other thing that I want to tell you for those of you that are consultants or managers, dream of being a director, dream of being an organization leader. These are things that are there. They're not changing. No matter what we are um, having in Tupperware, we have the programs, we have the product, we have the people. And at the director level is when you have a lot more benefits, like traveling, like driving a car, like participating on the WOW program. And I know that you have so many success stories here in Champion, but I just want to put it out there for those of you that are consultants and managers. You see all of them training here, Ellen, Loretta, Nikki, um, Jen. So all of the directors here training tonight, they have access to all these benefits. And so you can, because we all have the same product and the same opportunity. So I think um, Pam already shared all the details on these drawings, but I will just recap because I want to say the reason we have 110, we're asking for $110 is because Brownie White this year, she could be 110 years old. So what a great way to celebrate. I'm going to challenge every champion to do the magic this week, party. It doesn't matter how you party, but party this week, submit those 110 or more. Actually, for each 110, you get one opportunity to win those drawings. And I'm so excited because when we were planning this, we say, well, one drawing per region. And we say, it's birthday month. We really have to do something bigger. So now we have 20 drawings per region. So how many of those drawings are going to be right here in Champion? I imagine a lot of them, and there's going to be a big surprise per region that's going to be a drawing by Peter and Doug. And by the way, we're going to do these drawings right away. You know, the, the exact day that Brownie White celebrates her birthday is on May 25th. 
So what we are doing is this is a brownie week to celebrate and party. And then we're going to be doing all these drawings on May 25th to celebrate brownie. So we're going to go live with Peter and Doug, all the regionals, to do these drawings next Thursday. So stay tuned. But most important, you have to have a ticket to earn those drawings. And that is submitting 110 or more this week. And Pam already told you about this special um, weekly activity challenge. And you know what? With brownie wines on the sandwich keeper, I wouldn't put it a sandwich. I would make it magic and I could do all what I can do to build my business. I think tomorrow we're going to have Doug going live. So stay tuned. And he's going to go live to share his dream container. How many of you, tell me in the chat, how many of you have used a dream container? I use mine when I was where you are. So sometimes it's not easy to talk about the opportunity. I want you all to recruit this week, but sometimes it's not easy. So a dream container is putting those little things. There's Loretta. So I knew it. Um, put, put all those little things that remind you all the benefits of our business and they fit perfectly right there in that brownie white sandwich keeper so you carry it with you so when you want to talk to somebody about the opportunity you're going to open it and you may have a quarter to talk about the 25 percent discount you may have a 100 dollars you can put a real one or a fake one and you can tell people um when i party i get out of that party with at least 100 dollars in my pocket Maybe the picture of your dream vacation, maybe um, maybe a little um, plastic car to say I'm driving a company car or I am going to drive a company car. So a lot of those things. And besides that, um, there's here's another tip that I was sharing this morning. You can add in your sandwich keeper some of those keychains of your favorite products and just keep it with you all the time because you want to talk about the products you want to date parties and so you can have the keychain of the fresh smart or the micro pro grill or the um, pressure cooker so all those keychains or magnets and you have with you as a mini consultant kit so actually, I know that you have all the names here, right, Pam, of everybody that is here, so all the sales force. Why don't we do a drawing and you get the sandwich keeper and I will send you all the different keychains that I collect, one of each to put on that sandwich keeper and you have your mini consultant kit. Oh, how fun is that? So maybe Let's you can run one of, those, um, one of those little races, or I don't know how you have the names, and uh, they will win all these keychains from me. Well, we do do it that way because it takes a little time to put those names in, but we can do a drawing. Yes. And so let's, um, are we ready to take our screen down? Um, let me just say one more okay. thing that it is. Yes, do that. This is so important, and you're totally on the way, so I... Don't even have to tell you because you are on pace but this is something brand new um many of you remember that we had multiple uh walls and multiple um statues and things in our home office to celebrate all of you well we are going back to do that and this is a new meeting room that Tom, uh, Doug and uh Peter and all of them at home office are using for lives and zooms so you see the walls there how they are empty so this month all the companies that achieve their goal will put their company name right on those walls so we're going to start doing some of these exciting challenges to put your name there so i the first name that i want to see there is champion prices yes yes so, um let's make sure that we hit that goal and qualify and Lastly, I want to tell you that every single order that you are submitting this month will help you to be part of these drawings when you achieve $500, $750, $1,000 this month. And I was just looking at the report and there's so many at these levels already here in Champion Enterprises. So with $500, you can win me. I would love Ooh. to come celebrate with you. At 750, you could get dog. 
a 1,000, you could get Peter. And nothing stopped you from earning <coughs> two or three of us here in Champion Enterprises. So let's make this um, challenge of everybody hit submit. That means like 100% activity. I'll give you a chance, 75, 75, because it's 75 years of the party. So I will challenge um, Champion Enterprises to have 75% of the sales force hit submit this week and made the magic. How's that, Pam? Do you take the challenge? I do take the challenge. And what do we win with that? You have more chances to be in the drawing, but... <laughs> Uh, yes, I we would. I should bring a magic gift, right? Hmm. 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 Um, what is one of your favorite pieces of Tupperware? Oh, the cookware for sure. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Okay. I love so, my cookware. I love my grill. Um, I love the silicone. It makes life so easy. Well, 75% of activity, and I, we can tell them exactly how many people need to hit submit. And then everybody that hit submit 110 or more will go into a drawing of a piece of cougar from me. How's that? Woohoo! So it's for this week, 100%. For this week only, 75%. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. We can do this. Yes. Let's do this, champion. There you Thank go. You. <laughs> you guys, I hope you had a great night. I hope you learned a lot and make sure you tell all your friends to catch the replay on this one. It's a good one. Thank you guys. Good night. Bye. Go to bed.